guys welcome back to take those and in this video we will look at the split a string into the maximum number of unique substrings which is from lead code number 1593 this is based on recursion and at the end we will be discussing about the time complexity in detail let's now look at the problem statement in this case given a string as return the maximum number of unique substring that the given string can be split into you can split a string as into any list of non-empty substring where the concatenation of the substring forms the original string However, you must split the substring such that all of them are unique. A substring is a contiguous sequence of characters with a string. Okay, before understanding the example, let's look at the constraint. So the constraint is saying that the string length will be less than equals to 16. So that means the total number of combinations that you, you can form is 2 to the power of 16, which is less than 10 to the power of 5. So definitely, even if you go with an exponential algorithm, it will be completely fine to work with because this is less than 10 to the power of 8. So you will definitely get it done in one second. Now let's uh, look at some example for better understanding. Let's say that our given string is AABB. We want to uh, split AABB into whatever way possible so that we generate unique substrings. Now if you split it uh, based on I will be splitting it first as A and then from the rest part I will be splitting again another A then another B and then the slices will be AABB. If you have done this kind of slicing, then are all the substrings unique? You will see that this A and A are repeating, B and B are repeating. So this is invalid. So this will not be considered. Whereas if you had uh, done a slicing based on A was split and then another A was split and then a BB was, uh, was spliced together, then still it will not be valid because A and A are repeating. Okay. But then given A, A, B, B, if you decided to split this A, and this a b and then this b as the third item then definitely none of them are repeating and therefore this is valid if this is a valid split then how many substrings are there the count of uh, total substrings are three so this will be a candidate answer but it may be possible to find even a larger number of substring which is valid so we will continue to do our searches if you start our uh, slicing with double a so if you start with the double a slicing then we can slice this B and B separately, which will make it invalid because these are repeating. Otherwise, if we uh, decide to take BB together, then it will be valid. And this is of length two. If you start with uh, double AB as our split, then double AB will be the first part and then you will only be left with B. So is this valid? Yes, no, str no substring is repeating. Therefore, this is of length two here. If you start with double A, double B, can you start? Yes but the substring count is only one so out of all these valid uh, substrings split which one is having the largest number of substring it is three so three should be our answer in this case okay so we should remember our constraint that all the substrings must be unique in order to be considered as unique substring split right so i hope you understood the problem statement before looking at the solution let's look at how the partitioning is done let's say that we are taking an example of double a double b in this case we can start with the split length of one we can start with the split length of two or three or four how much split length will there be will depend on uh, the size of the string so it will go from one to the size of string okay one to size of string which is n so in this case if you do a split here then you will see that a b b will be left over right and you can recursively do the split for a b b considering that if you do a split of size one you will get a b b Again from BB you can do a split of size 1 and get a B or you can do a split of size 2 and you will be getting an empty string. And on this ABB again you can decide not to do this uh, for one size split but to do a two size split and in that way you will get a B as a leftover. If you again decide to do a three size split you will get an empty string and similarly you can keep on repeating for all the string recursively right. So this is how the partitioning can be done. So each of the character will have two choices, whether we do a partition at that point or we do not do the partition, right? So there will be two to the power n such combinations. Now let's look at a dry run for uh, seeing what idea we will be applying. You look at this, if you have a, a, b, b, right? And if you are starting with position equals to zero. So this is the entire recursion tree diagram, which I have already made, but let's understand this step by step. So we will be starting at this a and uh, which is position equals to zero so i'm writing position on the nodes of the tree so initially i had double a double b and if i can do a split of size one can i actually do it yes i can do a, a split of size one 
and I will be getting A B B, right? And can I do this? Yes, it is possible. Again, being at position one, can I do a split of size one again? Yes, I can do this, and I will be left with double B. Again, at this two, can I do a split of size one? Yes, I can do that, right? And if I do this, then I will get a B here. At three, position three, can I do a split of size one? Yes, and I will be left with an empty string. When you are left with an empty string. then we will have to check what were the substrings that we had produced we have to save all these substrings somewhere so if we had saved this substring we would have got a a b b these were the four substring so we need to check if any one of them are repeating if any one of them are repeating that means this is invalid and yes this will be invalid so this cannot be considered into our answer set but if you realize this run then we had already realized this at node number 2 or even at node number 1 why are we uh, splitting a when we already have an a that was produced right so what we can do is we can remember all the substrings by saving it somewhere so that when i'm about to create a split then i can check it that will it give me a valid substring so for doing that you can take a set or a map whatever you take so i have taken a set in the set we will be pushing this a when i produce it and when i try to uh, slice another a out of it before doing any slice we will be checking it into the set is it present if it is already present that means this entire part will always be invalid right because the substrings will be repeating so this entire part will be invalid so if this is going to be invalid then why to even generate all those possibilities let's not generate this possibility right so even without exploring we know that this is not going to give me any answer and that technique is called pruning so pruning is a technique where we don't explore uh, certain possibilities because we already determine beforehand that even if i explore that possibility it is not going to lead me to a correct answer right and that is why if something will not work out which you know already then why should i apply uh, a effort for that right so simply i will not be exploring this region so can i produce a slice of size 2 here I, you you will see that yes i can produce ab but if you can produce ab uh, you have to check in the set is it present it is not present so i will push ab and i will start exploring so if you explore you will go to position 3 from 1 you created a size 2 split and you will go to position number 3 here can you produce a slice of size 1 you will see the slice of size 1 will give you b is b present in the set no it is not present so i can push b and i will reach to the end that means the end of string when you reach to the end of string the size of the set that means the number of substring in the set will give me the number of unique split and i will keep a variable called maximum unique splits and that i will be always assigning it to zero so whenever i find a better value i will be updating it now i will be backtracking and i will try to make a uh, split of size 2 so at index 3 can i make a split of size 2 no you will go out of bounds so it is not possible but at 1 can i make a larger size split like a three size split yes it will be possible so you can make another split here and go to position number 4 directly right and the split will contain abb so this abb will first be checked if it is present in the set now while backtracking you have to remove this b when you are done with this b when while backtracking you have to remove this while backtracking from 3 you have to remove this okay now from one you had to check if abb is present no it is not present so push abb into the set and then you will be reaching to the end of string what is the size of the uh, entire set it is 2 it is 2 so you will be comparing this 2 with 3 now 3 is larger so don't update anything right now while back tracking you have to remove this abb so we will be reaching to 1 from one now you cannot make a four size slice it is not valid and that is why we will be back tracking from here and remove a as well now being at 0 we have tried all the possibilities with a one size split now let's try with not one size but a two size split okay so we have decided that we will not create partition now at the first string but after the second string if you happen to do that then the set was initially empty and we will be pushing a double a because this is not present in the set from there on onwards we will be reaching to index 2 from here can i make a size one split yes you can make it so then uh, b is present in the map no it is not present in the set so you can just uh, insert this b and simply you will be reaching to 3 now from here if you make a one size split uh, it should not be done 
so i will be just pruning this part i will not be reaching i will be pruning because b is already present in the uh, set now size 2 split cannot be done at 3 because there is only one character left over so you will be backtracking before backtracking you have to remove the b that you had inserted now we are at index 2 at index 2 can i make a two size split yes i can include this bb and make a two size split is bb present no it is not present so let's insert bb into the set now we will be reaching to the end of string and if we are reaching to the end of string how many uh, substrings are there in the set there are two substrings and that is why uh, we will get two as an answer but then two is smaller than three so no update will happen similarly you will be backtracking to this position two and you have to pop out the bb that you had inserted again from two you will be backtracking to zero because again from position two you cannot make a three size uh, split you just have two characters right so while backtracking to zero you have to remove this double a when you reach to zero then again we have tried all possibilities with one size split and two size split now i will decide not to split of size two but to create a split of size three so can we do that i mean the set is empty yes i can do that so i will be inserting a a b into the set now we are directly at position 3. Can we do a one size split? Yes. So another uh, substring which gets created is B. It is not present in the set already, right? Now you will reach to the end of string and the number of unique substrings are 2. But the already known answer is 3. So no update is going to happen. We will be backtracking. So we will be removing this B. Again, we will be backtracking to 0. So we will be removing this double AB. Now I will decide not to make a three size split but to make a four size split and can i do that yes i can do that the set is empty i can insert double a double b into the set and i reach the end of string when i reach the end of string the number of unique substrings will be the size of the set which is one now one is smaller than three so no update is going to happen again we will backtrack to zero and i will be popping off this double a double b so this is the entire flow this flow included uh, doing partition at all possible characters right and hence the total number of combinations will be 2 to the power of n so this is the entire recursion tree diagram i will highly recommend you to make this now if i take an example a b c d e you can consider each character to be a partition point right so each character can be a partition point and you can decide either to do a split here or not to split here so each of them have two choices therefore 2 to the power n possible combinations will be present now in order to generate a substring or you want to concatenate uh, two strings together or add a character these are all linear time algorithms so an order of n is combined with all the combination of string and that is why the total time complexity will be n times of 2 to the power of n when you think about the space complexity since we are solving by recursion the recursion call stack will be taking the depth of the tree will become the uh, space complexity what is the depth the depth will be the highest uh, depth from the uh, root to the leaf node and that will always happen when you start uh, keeping a slice of size 1 a split of size 1 will always give you the highest depth and that will be the length of the string so it is order of n so i hope you understood this entire explanation let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number this is the c plus plus code the java and python code will be in the description below you can just check it out you are given the string and i will be taking a max count with the unordered set and simply i will be calling uh, all possible substring uh, which will be having the string the position where i am starting right now the maximum count which will always be updated at the end of string and then the set which will include all the unique substrings that we have pushed at the end i will be returning the max count now if you look at all possible substring this is the case where we reach to the end of string whenever we reach to the end of string i will be checking if max count is less than uh, the unique substring size that means the number of unique substrings are more than the already known answer then i will be updating the max count and returning back otherwise if we have not reached to the end of string then i will have to try all possibilities of split and all the possibilities will start at the given position and go till the end of string and all these possibilities have to be stored in the substring so i will be pushing one character after another into building the substring whenever i build a substring i have to check if it is already present in the set if it is not present in the set 
then I will be uh, inserting the current substring into the set and then I will be making the recursive call for all possible substring finding and after uh, returning back since I need to backtrack that is the reason we will be removing the current substring from the set because we are passing the substring by reference okay so this is the entire code i hope you were able to understand this if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you